What's up guys? want to do a review today on my mower. Um, it's going to be a good, the bad, and the ugly kind of a review, but uh, I just figure, you know what, it's getting that time of year. Uh, we're going to be cranking our old mowers up at 6 a.m. on Saturday and pissing off all the neighbors, so we might as well do it in style. Uh, now this right here, it's a bad boy. I got it here local in Arkansas at Russellville at the Kubota place in Russellville. Those guys done me real good. They were real nice, super friendly. You can see it's the ZT Elite. It's a 60-inch deck. It's got the 747cc motor. It is an absolute beast. Uh, so that's that's part of the good. Um, like I said, it is local. It's here in Arkansas. So don't send your money to China or Afghanistan or wherever the heck they're putting these clanky mowers together today. Spend your money in Arkansas and keep it local. You're going to pay up a little bit for this thing, but guess what? You will never buy another mower again. So the 15 crappy mowers that you bought throughout your life, this will be the last mower you buy. Um, it is local, like I said, Batesville, Arkansas. Uh, this thing is an absolute tank. You will not tear it up. You will not destroy it. The deck is a monster. If you've seen my videos and you've seen the brush piles, uh, I use this to clean the property and straighten it up, and I have never had any issues. This thing will absolutely drive over everything. The motor, like I said, is a 747cc. I've never had any issues with that thing. That thing starts up and cranks like a champ every time. Never bogs down. Uh, never have had any issues with it. The tires are stock. I've just These are the tires that came with it. Never had any issues. Never had any hose. Uh, I do have some of those trees that are thorn trees. When they see this thing coming, they draw in. They, they don't even try to poke holes in these tires. Um, it is just, like I said, a monster. you got easy access to the belts right here. You can see this thing is dirty. Uh, I don't, I don't, uh, I haven't washed it. It's not, it's not shined up, cleaned up, nothing. I didn't clean it for this video. It is what it is because I use it and I work it. But you can see easy access to the belts right there. Um... That belt has actually got a chunk taken out of it from something. I don't know what it is, but the chunk's been out for about a year, and that belt still keeps on kicking. Uh, I don't know what this mower does at night when I'm asleep. It could have gotten a fight with an alligator for all I know, and an alligator took a chunk out of it. But guess what? If they got in a fight with an alligator, it probably won, so there could be a good chance I've got a dead alligator on my property somewhere. I'll have to check that out. Uh, but anyway, this thing is a zero turn, as you can tell by the handles. And with me having my property thinned by the loggers, it's so nice to go around the stump zero turn and not be on that little bitty mower trying to go back and forth. Uh, I just love this freaking mower, y'all. Okay, that's all the good stuff, the bad stuff. Oh, I do have to choke this thing down every time I freaking start it, which drives me nuts. Uh, I don't care if I've been mowing for 27 hours when I kill it to go in and get a drink and come back out I've got to choke the damn thing down to start it again I did talk to a guy that owned one of these and he said his is the exact same way So I don't know if it's an issue they're having uh, now I have never in the three or four years that I've owned this taken this in the shop for maintenance So the oil that's in it's the same janky oil that I started with the hydraulic fluid there could be adjustments that they do on your first maintenance go around that would completely take care of some of these bad issues that I'm going to tell you. But just know this mower is exactly the way I bought it. Uh, the gas gauge, it has quit working. It, it uh, worked up until probably six months ago, and then for some reason it quit working, so now it always says it's on empty. Not an issue. I don't care. I'm not going to replace it. I check the gas every time I fill it up. The hydraulics... Uh, I've got a place on my property I call the lane, so when I get mowing down here, I'll go to the house down the lane. And if I'm wide open going down, it wants to pull one way, so i got to pull back, straighten it up, uh, pull back, straighten it up. Again, that's probably an adjustment that's done on your first maintenance, but it's just kind of irritating that it does that. It, it is a little tipsy downhills. I think it's just because the back tires are so wide um, that when you get at an angle and you start going, it wants to spin and, and go down the hill. I, I live on the top of a mountain, so I mow hills constantly, nonstop. I'm rarely on a flat surface, but, you know, again, that's probably me, uh, the way I drive and stuff. Now, I have two things that were going to go ugly. So we had the good, we had the bad, and now this is the ugly. Um, as you can see... This control panel here is not bolted down. This controls your speed, raises your deck up and down, it engages your mower blades, it's got your hour meter on here, and then of course your key to start it with. 
uh, the four bolts that hold that down, I lost a long time ago. And even before I lost them, I stripped them out. That is because the thing that raises your deck up and down, it'll get wet, it'll get dirty, and it'll get to where it won't engage those contactors. So you've got to take those four bolts off, pull the plug out, go up in there, clean it, plug it back in, and bolt it back down. So many times of doing that over the years, I've stripped those bolt holes out, and I have eventually lost the screws to it. So I know that probably tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to have to take that off and clean it out again. They may have fixed that. Like I said, this thing's three or four years old. They may have already resolved that issue, but it's an issue that I have that I absolutely freaking drives me nuts. The seat, the wood in the seat rotted probably the first couple of months I had it. So if you've had one of these and they're older, you probably had the same problem I did. You don't want to get it wet. You don't want to spill water on it. Uh, you don't want to even say the word water around it. I probably just rotted it again by saying the word water. I don't know why. I don't know if the guy that designed the seat tore down an old shed in his backyard and thought it would be a good idea to use that wood for the seats. I don't know what the deal is, but you definitely do not want to get it wet. Now, when you own a mower that big, it's hard to find a place to put it. Not a lot of people have a shop that's six feet wide dedicated just for their mower. So, you know, guess what? Real world stuff, you're going to park it outside and you're going to leave it. And guess what? It's going to occasionally rain. So I don't know if the guy that built the seat is the same guy that built the switch. If so, might want to look into if, whether or not that guy has a substance abuse problem. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that cat. Maybe two different guys. Maybe they go out drinking on the weekends. Monday they come in, they're hungover. They don't, they don't have their A game going that day. And maybe they've had a few issues in the past. I don't know. Could be this issue's been resolved and I'm sitting here whining about nothing. But anyway, I would recommend this freaking mower all day long, every day to anybody on the planet. Now, will I buy another one? No, because I'm not going to have to. In 75 years when I die, yeah, I'll be around for 75 more years. In 75 years when I die, I'll give this to my son. He'll give it to his son. He'll give it to his son. This thing is never going anywhere. Now, if I have some crackhead come on my property and steal it, yeah, I'll get a new mower then. But until that happens, this thing is in my family for the next 725 years. So it's not going anywhere. But don't don't be that guy, y'all, that has the little crappy Poulan mower with the 26-inch cut. Because guess what? Behind your back, your buddies are making fun of you. They're dogging you out. Your wife is embarrassed of you. Your kids do this when you take them to school because they don't want anybody to know you're their dad. Be a damn man and buy a man mower. Don't be a little kid and buy a little kid mower. I don't care if your backyard is this wide and you make one pass on this mower and park it. Then by God, that's what you need to do because guess what? The neighbors are going to see that and they're going to be like, hell yes. Fred is the man. He just mowed his yard in one pass and then he parked his mower. He's done for the day. So, uh... I recommend this thing to everybody. Go out and get you one, guys. They are a freaking tank. So anyway, guys, that's my review of the mower. I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you all in the next go around. Thanks.